Okay, let's talk about inflation. <laughs> okay, that's the elephant in the room. I mean, the greatest crime you can commit this age and time is just to make money and keep it somewhere and not leveraging that fund. Inflation is literally eating up our money on a daily basis. Uh, it's unfortunate, but that's the reality of the time that we live in right now. So you can be making money and you will be getting poorer. In fact, the formula for being poor right now has changed. Okay, if you are making, let's say, a millionaire on a monthly basis in 2022 and 2023 is still a millionaire on a monthly basis and 2024 is still a millionaire on a monthly basis, basically what has happened is that you have grown poorer. In fact, if the money increased from 1 million era in 2022 to 1.1 million era in 2023 and 1.2 million era in 2024, and you did not leverage that fund, you have just grown poorer. That's what it means. Even though it looks like your income increased uh, marginally. Okay. So <laughs> my name still remains Okwe Oluwa Uni. Uh, I was having a conversation with someone on Friday. He said the only crime to be to have committed in this age and time is to have been a Nigerian and living in this age and time, in this season that we are in right now. Okay, so how do we then take advantage of this season? Is it just doom and gloom? And I, I've said this over and over in all um, my recent video, is that if we don't document lessons from history, it's, we are bound to repeat that history. In fact, in a much more terrible way so how do we take advantage of this season and time um please don't forget to like share and subscribe hit that like button and share and subscribe it's going to help us a whole a whole lot so number one thing i would like to share with us is the fact that we need to think long term i mean even though this inflation is also all sudden to us but for us to strategically get out of it and never to witness it again, we need to think long term. Long term is very, very, very important in our getting out of this. I shared something of recent about the hyperinflation that happened in Germany over leveraging on the phone because of war and all of those things. It was so terrible that if you enter a restaurant, you need to go and pay for food before you even order for the food because it's possible for you to order the food, eat the food, and by the time you want to pay, the price has changed. <laughs> and that is, is, is already happening in, format, in some form and manner currently right now. People often uh, do not, uh, 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 how would I put it, uh, don't even put price on most of their dollarized product because they leverage on dollar, right? So you need to start thinking of how you can leverage and so like i said think long term so number two is you need to um, pay attention to the fact that other companies deliberately even devalue their naira so because now what 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 has led to our own inflation two things insecurity so food we can we couldn't get even the food that we are growing we couldn't get them for sheep now um yeah so insecure so that that in itself has affected us um, greatly okay so insecurity too is the fact that we we over um over dependent on imports and when you over depend on imports you are not the one controlling the uh, currency that imports that is used in, in international trade so you can't just go print dollars like the um, united states is keep doing right so you 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 have to hand those dollars to be able to import things and when you don't earn enough dollar, you buy it at an expensive rate, right? Over the, so, so what we're now doing was that we're just printing Naira and um, too much Naira was pursuing after a dollar and simple economics, the value of the dollar just keep rising. And the other thing again is that people keep ordering these dollars, keep ordering these speculators took over the market and they are the one dictating the pace of what is even happening in the market right now, which is very, very unfortunate okay so these are the reasons why we are experiencing some of the inflations that we are experiencing right now and because it's accumulated these reasons have been accumulated over time so all i would just need and encourage us to do is that we also need to think long term 
right? So country, countries like China, Japan, at some point, deliberately devalue the, the, um, uh, 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 the value of their currency, not because um, 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 uh, IMF told them to do so in our own case, and um, yeah, remove subsidy in our own case, and all of those things, but because these are countries that are export driven. They, they, they do they release a lot of products uh, to the export market and they receive a lot of foreign currency and because you receive a lot of foreign currency there's a tendency that your um, um, your currency is going to be very very high because you have a lot of um, uh, um, dollar in reserve so they deliberately manipulate their currency to be low so that their export will be cheap so people will be able to buy more, buy more, buy more, buy more from them. And what happens when people buy more from them is the fact that you, you're able to sustain the job that is creating um, uh, um, those goods that are being exported. Okay, so that is driving me to the next point. We need to think um, exports. We need to think exports. It's unfortunate that most of our government officials are really not thinking exports. So to leverage on this season and time, we need to think exports. Right, you know, in um, South Korea, Japan, they created conglomerates. That's what gave birth to Toyota, Samsung, Hyundai. In this Korea, in in, in, in the Tiger Nations, the, the, the um, fight Vietnam, Taiwan, Korea, and, uh, and 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 Japan, Malaysia, because at that point in time, they made up their mind that see, this the way this economy is going, we really need to focus on. They became the manufacturing of, of Bangladesh, India, and all of this have joined them right now to become the manufacturing hub of the world. So, and these are government driven. They created those companies, empower those companies, give them the required funds, give them everything that they need so that they will be able to produce a lot of goods and export them. The same thing with China. I mean, China is, is an overflowed issue already, right? So, um, the advantage of the situation right now is that we need to end foreign currency. And the only way we can end foreign currency for cheap is that what are the things that we are producing here that we can still be producing with our cheap Naira and export it to end foreign currency. We need to look inward, think inward to be able to do that. Okay. So, and government is supposed to be the driver of this. In fact, the only policy that government is supposed to be pushing right now is how can we as a people, everybody should be what should be importing and exporting. So, for instance, now there should be a confab that every state see this is your state. This is what your state should be exporting. Do you want to be exporting talent? Yes. I'll, 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 let's create a structure that's okay. Say, for instance, Lagos State is an exporter of talent, human resources, everything. India did it. At some point, all the customer service in the world were based in India. Right, at some point, all the IT companies, they, I mean, look at it, they, they were so deliberate about it. The CEO of Google, the CEO of um, uh, Microsoft, all the big companies come from India, Indian Institute of Technology. Right, so we need to be deliberate. This is Lagos State, okay, Ogo State, we give you the exporting Shako. So the hub of Ogo State is Shako Hub in uh, Osho State, we'll be exporting this. Every state needs to now be deliberately be exporting. What that means is that we need to produce that will be enough for us here and for exporting. If we do that, if we do that, it's going to help our currency a lot. So the state too will pick it. It is local government. Oh yeah, you. Um, I want you to be producing the labor that I need to produce what I need to export. You oh yeah, you local government. I need you to do so. It will help and it will help us to create. Um, uh, solve the issue of a lot of unemployment, insecurity, and all of those things. So the the, the opportunity is there, the enormous opportunity is there. But we, but of course, what the government is trying to do now is to borrow their way out of the problem. But if you borrow the way, you have only postponed the problem. If they borrow now, and we it looks like we get out of the problem, if we do not go back to exporting, and our appetite for foreign goods to need to be curtailed, it will not be solved. But if government is not doing it, what are you and I do. Okay? I often am I'm, I'm an advocate of creating your own economy because that is what can solve the problem that, in fact, that is what can solve the problem that we are in right now.
So what are the things and the platform we live in a global village and the internet is the, internet is the village square. So what are the platform and what are the things that you can keep exporting right now? I've said this over and over and over again. Exporters are winners in this season and time, right? They are over um, uh, 5 million to 20 million, depending on the statistics that you, uh, you can lay your hands on. Nigerians that are outside this country that are, were born in Nigeria and outside the country. And if you know something about Nigeria, our text board does not change. <laughs> so that means there are 5 million markets outside this country with purchasing power. Yes, most Nigerians outside this country have the purchasing power to buy what you can produce locally because they need to eat outside there. So that is a 5 million, era, 5 million market. Imagine if you are selling a dollar to them, you are making a dollar from them every year. That's 5 million US dollars in turnover to that market. Even if it's 10% of that market that you can, you can capture, that is whopping $500,000. That's over almost a billion in Naira right now because of the current exchange. That's over 800 million using the current exchange rate as a to do. So export is a in fact, we need to give it a laser focus. We need to give export laser, laser focus. Okay, so that is the number one thing that we need to do to fight the current inflation right now is to tackle it from the source. And the source is that we need to keep earning more dollars. That's number one thing. And other things, um, I will share it how to take advantage of this current inflation. I'll share it in the part two of this video. I don't want always, I don't always want our videos to be too long so that um, people can enjoy uh, the short and fire reception. So my name is Simi of Kwen Uluwa Uli. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, that will be all for now. Part two is coming shortly.